Welcome to Journey of Well-Being, a journey where we dive together, between medicine and poison, between ancient wisdom and modern science. Did you know that what you see today in those body cleansing videos or quick herbal weight loss recipes might actually be a deadly formula? Yes, it's a plant called Habel Moluk. Tiny seed, yet through history, it hid one of the most dangerous plant poisons known to humankind. And still, ancient doctors used it for constipation, for purification, even for weight loss. So how did they turn poison into medicine? The secret that saved the lives of kings is the same secret forgotten by today's internet healers. The fatal mistake does not lie in the plant itself, but in the method. How is its poison removed? What is the correct dose? And who must never take it? Izebal Moluk, the medicine that saved kings and killed those who imitated them. But what is Hab al-Maluk, really? Its scientific name. Groton tiglium, a small evergreen shrub that grows shiny, beautiful seeds. But inside them hides a deadly toxin. From these seeds, a bright oil is extracted, once used by wise healers as a strong laxative. What happens if someone takes it without removing its poison? The tragedy begins in the mouth, burning, nausea, and unstoppable diarrhea. The body loses water and salts. Pressure collapses, the heart stops. Even touching the oil can burn the skin or blind the eyes. Terrifying, isn't it? But then, how did the ancients use it safely? Here shines the genius of Avicenna. In his canon of medicine, he wrote, Habal Maluk moves the bowels, but destroys the stomach if not purified. Purification process was brilliant. They peeled the seeds, soaked them in water, then boiled them in milk until covered with a thin white coat. Then they washed and dried them in the shade, never in sunlight. That white layer was the secret. It absorbed the fatty toxins inside, making the seed less poisonous, yet still effective as a laxative. So, does it become safe after purification? Absolutely not. Even purified, it remains dangerous. Unless handled with knowledge and precision, Avicenna warned never more than half a seed. Mixed with honey or butter, used in tiny amounts, and forbidden completely to children, pregnant women, and patients with weak organs. It's not a home remedy, it's a medicine. A substance that must be prepared under expert hands. And the lesson of Habal Maluk, that between medicine and poison lies a fine line of knowledge. The ancients understood healing comes not from herbs alone, but from wisdom, dosage, and limits. Even today, a thousand years after Avicenna, Abal Maluk still whispers, ignorance of the dose is deadlier than the poison itself. From royal palaces of the 11th century to YouTube videos of the 21st, the message hasn't changed. Be careful what you put in your body.
because not everything called natural is safe. But tell me, what exactly makes Hab al Maluk so deadly? Let's take one last look inside the seed. This was the journey of well-being. And with Hab al-Maluk, we learned that ancient wisdom was science, not magic. Subscribe now and get ready for the next episode, where we unveil the secrets of herbs. That separate medicine from poison.